Good morning. I am back doing daily devotionals today. Sorry about the last week. I was really, really sick. I think I had the flu. Um, it started with the cold, I thought, and then quickly developed into something much more complex. And I was out for the count. Um, I didn't do anything. No crafty things. No, I didn't even read books. I was so exhausted and not feeling well. And um, I still have a little residual cough. <clears throat> a little tickle in my throat talking about it. Um, but for the most part, I'm back to rocking and rolling. So today's theme on December 18th, which the last devotional I did was on the 11th. <laughs> I've been gone a while. Um, is the blessings of winter. And I think it's completely appropriate because the winter solstice is on the 21st. And uh, it is one of my... I would say not my favorite solst or my favorite um, holiday, but it is um, what I consider a holiday of reflection and solitude. And um, over the years, I have found that it is more meaningful to me that it is a contemplative holiday. I know a lot of people, because it's around Christmas, it's a holiday of celebration, but I find the winter silence, the silence of the snow on the ground and the ice and the cool freezing temperatures um, are contemplative. I love to be outside and walk in it and really contemplate the darkest day of the year and contemplate that stillness within myself. Um, today, I wanted to read a prayer from a book I acquired back in 93. A Victorian grimoire by Patricia Telesco. She's for year, well, this is when I got really sick and I got rid of all my books, or a great many of my books, I could not find this book electronically. So I didn't get rid of it. And occasionally I open it for a prayer or two. It's not one that I open all the time because I have had it in moldy homes. But um, the prayer for today in her book on page 55 Jack Frost was in the garden. I saw him there at dawn. He was dancing round the bushes and prancing on the lawn. He had a cloak of silver and a hat all shimmering white, a wand of glittering stardust, and shoes of sunbeam light. And that's by J. Smeaton. So I thought it was an appropriate one for today. I have a whole collection of what I consider Yule prayers and poems. Um, and I'll be reading those this week in preparation for Yule. So what are the blessings of winter? We have plants that don't grow unless they're cold. We don't have animals that thrive unless they hibernate. Um, we have creatures that need winter more than nine, ten months out of the year. Um, winter is important. Um, there are stories of when the Hudson River would freeze solid. You could ice skate on it. I don't think that's happened in two generations. Our climate is changing. Um, it's not nearly as cold and wintry in places that it used to be. And it's changing the plants, the flora, the fauna. It's changing everything. And not always for good. There are people who really love winter, and I'm one of those. And there are people who really don't love winter. <laughs> um, 
but I am. I'm one who really loves it. And I find that this time of contemplation is one of those blessings that people don't take time and consideration to pause for a moment. They get very caught up in the the consumerism of our holiday season is what we call it in our modern society. Johnny wants a new pair of shoes and a pair of socks and Jane wants an Xbox and Johnny wants a book and Jane wants the new newest gaming console and wants a gun. Um, Johnny wants um, an action figure and Jane wants Legos, the Star Wars Legos kit. We look at what Jane and Johnny want and we forget that you know in in many ancient cultures this was a time of rev, you know is com contemplation but then they would have their revelry too and their parties to raucous noise and laughter to welcome in the sun and welcome in the new the new cycle but there was always a time of reflection first there is always ceremony before there's parties um, and I think that where in our modern society you know some people go to church on Christmas Eve um, and some people really get into the nativity scenes but the stopping and being in the moment to feel that, feel that stillness in the darkness and to not be afraid of it and to know that the sun will come back and to reflect in your own life those dark moments so that you know the sun will come back. You know, this is the time of year where so many people commit suicide their sense of loneliness and their sense of not belonging is heavy and weighs upon them and it's it's a scary thing and to look at that in your reflection and to know that we all have that lonely sad part of ourselves that there is a sun on the other side there's always hope and when people lose hope we've lost something in our culture we've lost something in our place of peace as a community of people and I kind of got off on a tangent but the blessings of winter give us the opportunity to face those shadows of ourselves so that we can see the light and face ourselves and be blessed and be happy and be grateful of the things that are in our life and the people that are in our life and the community that we belong to so I arranged quite a few topics there. Um, just something to think about. The blessings of winter today. Um, I hope you all have a beautiful day. I'm sorry that I was unavailable for a week for daily devotions, but sometimes you gotta slow down. <laughs> um, take some time. Disconnect from the computer. Take off your Fitbit. Take your phone out of your pocket, turn off the radio, turn off the television, turn off your computer, take a walk outside. If you can, away from cars and in town, if you can. If you can't, walk in town. Walk on the nice sidewalks that are shoveled for you every day. <laughs> but take some time outside. Find your place of peace. Really find it. And when you find it, it glows and it shines and you're able to share that with others. You don't have to go out and preach and you don't have to go out and lay your faith like peanut butter on a piece of bread. Find your place of peace and you will spread that peace. It will shine from you and be a guiding light for someone else. Have a blessed day. And I will see you tomorrow in prayer.